This is just a pretty uh, shocking situation. I think when the alert came across everyone's phones yesterday, it was kind of hard to believe that there was actually a shooting at a police department. Uh, right now, the Michigan State Police, they are heading the investigation. They're trying to figure out exactly what happened out here and why a man would walk into the Dearborn Police Department and try and shoot a officer at the front desk. That is what they are trying to determine at this point. Now, I can tell you this all began right around 3.30 yesterday morning. That is when officers say this 33-year-old man, again, walked through the front doors of the police department, pulled out a concealed handgun, pointed it at the unified, uh, uniformed officer behind the front desk, and then tried to fire. That officer then fired back the suspect. He was eventually, or he did eventually die from his injuries. No one else was hurt in this situation. Now, right now, investigators are trying to make sense of this all, trying to figure out what prompted the shooting and trying to figure out how a man with a history of mental illness got his hands on a gun. Take a listen to the chief of police. The individual attempted to fire the gun at the officer, prompting the officer to discharge multiple rounds that struck the individual. My sincerest condolences to the individual who lost his life here uh, this afternoon. So again, the chief of police here in Dearborn, he is not able to say much about the investigation. That is because the Michigan State Police are in charge of things now, and that is standard procedure in a situation like this. I can tell you that the front doors of the police department here, they do remain closed at this hour. There's still police tape blocking the front of the police department, but people needing assistance, they can go to one of the side doors, the east entrance, to get help from officers. We are live in Dearborn this morning. I'm Robin Murdoch for Fox 2 News.